Hello and welcome to Elite Church Special. This is a special edition, the Independence Day celebration. And I welcome you to the month of October. I wish Nigeria great, great things ahead. So let's forge right into today's episode of Surveying and Method. So Surveying and Method is using different methods to arrive at the same destination. So today we're going to be dealing with the traditional method of surveying plus the GIS method of surveying, combining this method together to get a solution. So I'm not going to tell you how it's all about. So you just follow me and let's get right into the video. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to class. All right, so today on Surveying and Method, Episode 1, we have a topographic survey that we intend to produce. So we have two sets of data. Here is boundary and details on this Excel sheet. And the second Excel sheet contains this spot height. Okay, so what we're going to do here, this came directly from the total station. So it comes as XLX format, as a default Excel format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to file and save as. Then on save as, I'm going to go to my uh, folder tutorial. I'm going to save it as CSV. So this I will save as CSV UTF 8 comma delimited. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Yes, save. And I will exit. So I'll do the same thing to this. I will do the same thing to the second Excel that contains the boundary and details. So I'll go ahead and click on file. Go to save as and i'll still go back to that folder and i'm going to change it from the former excel from the default excel workbook to csv comma delineated because that's the format that arcgis accept all right so with that being done i'm going to exit so let's get right into GIS, arcgis so any version of arcgis you have will do exactly what I am doing, whether it's 10.1 down to 10.8, which is exactly what I'm using. I'm using version 10.8.2. All right, so without any further ado, let's get started. So you come to file. That's the first thing you do when you're bringing an Excel file. So you go to file, then you come to add data, and then on add data, you go to add X and Y data. All right, so I will navigate to the folder. So in case you are just using ArcGIS for the first time, you will have to connect folder. But in my case, my folder is already connected and it's called tutorial. So I'm going to add the boundary and uh, details. So if you don't know how to connect folder, I will drop a link to a video that will show you how to create and uh, to connect folder on ArcGIS. So mine is already connected. So I'm just going to go to boundary and details. So I will double click on it. So the X, y, the X field is east is my E and the Y field is north which is my N and then I'm going just to optionally add the H value all right so I'm going to change this to uh, to a UTM because this was captured in the local datum UTM MENA zone 32 this is a part of Amadibelo University in Zaria all right so and then if that is done I'm going to click OK it's going to ask me table does not have object ID. So it's going to create an object ID for the table. So this is it, but now it's saving as an event layer. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to export it so that it can become a future class. So I'm going to add a future class or a shape file, anyone. So I'm going to go right click on it, go down to data and export data. So I'm going to select a folder. So um, we have tutorial. 
So here I'm going to create a new folder to knit in my work and I'm going to say data. So that's where all my data will be. So inside this folder I'm going to create a new geo database and I'm going to name it work. So after then I'm going to enter inside then I'm going to save this as data. I'll just say boundary. So once I see boundary, I know it's my data. Uh, so I'm going to OK it. So it's going to export. So I'll remove this. Then I'll do the same thing with the second data, which is the spot height. So go to file, add data, add X and Y data, or add X, Y data. So this time I'm going to click on the spot height. But the CSV, the com, uh, dot .csv file is the one I'm going to click. So I'm going to click on Add. And then I will change it to Eastern and Northern and then the Height. So I'll do the same thing by changing the location to that of the local data, datum, which is MENA32, Zone32. And then I'll OK. Oh, I'll click on OK and then OK. So it too will be added. So you can see that the spot height data has been added, but it is also on event layer. So I'll right click, go to data, export data. Then I'm going to put it as spot height. I'm not giving space. Either you don't give space or you use underscore. So OK, yes, and I will remove the event layer. Then I'm going to remove this because I'm just going to work on this. This serves as both boundary and as road layers. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to create these boundaries. Not the boundary, we're going to come out with the road layers first. Then we will proceed from there. So first, I'm going to label this roughly just by the point so that I know which one is which one. So the next thing I'm going to do is to create a, a future class called root. So I'm going to move down to where the folder where I have been working on, which is the tutorial. And then under the data, we have this. And I'm going to right click and I'll go to new new future class and I'm going to name it road. Also your alias you can have it as road. So I'm just going to paste the road and then it's a line future and it's MENA zone 32. So I'm going to have a name, a future file, a file uh, a, a future class, sorry, the attribute table name as name. That's the name of the root. All right, so I'm going to click on finish. So once this is done, the next is we're going to be uh, digitizing, adding, uh, plotting these points together. All right, so uh, I am going to just start few and then I will fast forward it for us so that we can save time. So you click on start editor, click on start editor, ed editing, then you go to your future, create future. Now if you can't see create future, what you will do is you will come to the end of your uh, editor here. As from this editor, you come down here, you click on this, and then you see create this attribute, and then this is create Futures. Once you click on it, it's going to be added here. So I'm going to click on road and I'm going to start from road one. All right, so this is the road going. So 
So you can see the way I am joining the point. Now I'm going to fast forward so that we can move faster. So I will see you once I am done with the fast forwarding. All right. Okay, so we've been able to join all of the, the road layers. So you can see all the road layers have been joined. All right, so basically we are good to go. I think there's an error. Let me remove it so that. All right, so <clears throat> now next. Now, if you check this data and you look at it, deeply you will not see any future like seriously so <clears throat> we're going to be using a satellite imagery to be able to uh, extract the um, built up that are there so I'm going to add the satellite imagery now so that we'll see what I'm talking about so on this tutorial I have study one so I'm going to add it so it has added but then, <clears throat> when it's added, you can see that it's not in the road. It moves out of the road. Every other thing are out of the road. So now, the question now here is, which do you trust more? The survey data that were carried out from the GNSS device equipment or the satellite imagery you downloaded online? In my case, I'm going to go with my data. So I support my data 100%. So I'm going to remove all of these. I'm going to start editing again. I'll start editing. And uh, I'm going to select this. Okay, sorry. I'm first going to georeference, re georeference this image again. That's what I'm going to do first. So how do I do that? I'm going to come under georeference and we can see that the study one which is the image is activated so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to add control point so in adding control point i'm going to look at the boundary i'm not going to look at the center i'm just going to look at one of the edge yes yeah, so i'm going to click here then i'm going to drag it to this other edge here so once i do that you will see that automatically the image has adjusted to uh, the image and the uh, root layer the image and the root layers here have aligned automatically so I don't need to add another coordinate I don't need to add any other thing for me this is okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first I'm going to rectify this georeferencing and then I'm going to select the folder where it's going to be. So it's going to be in my tutorial folder. So it's going to be here. And I'm going to add. So I'm going to now leave it as study 12 now. That's the new name. So it's going to process. So I'll come back when it is done. 
So after the it has been after it has been updated, if rectify you just uh, update your referencing. But I've done that already. So once you rectify your referencing, you update your referencing, everything comes into play like this. So we've done part A of the adjustment. So the second one now is to bring in uh, the spot height. But then you will see that the spot height, let me off the data. So you will see that the spot height did not just stop uh, where the data stopped. So it extended outside. So now, what we're going to do is that we're going to move this into our work, our store area, and then we will recalculate the coordinate. So first I'm going to remove this, this and then I'm going to start editing. So I'm going to click on the spot height and then I'm going to select all of it. Once it's selected, I'm going to bring back the road layer so that I will use it as a reference. Then I'm going to move this. I'm going to move it like this. So we'll now check whether everything has been adjusted inside. So we could see that everything has been adjusted inside so i'm going to move it a bit further okay let me move it backward in a bit more so you can see that everything is adjusted inside everything is inside so i'm going to now move just this one i want everything to be inside all right so now that that is done i'm going to stop editing and said yes but then if i turn off this as I, I, I exited this whole thing and come back it's going to still appear outside like the default so what do i need to do i'm going to recalculate the coordinates of this point so that it can become my fill data now all right so i will right click on this and go to attribute so while on attribute, I'm going to remove this east, northern and eastern. So I'm going to remove the eastern as well. So now the next thing I'm going to leave will be the Z. So I'm going to create new field. Now I'm going to create a, I'm going to add new field. So the, this field will be Eastern and I'm going to use it as a double. So I'm going to OK. I'll create a new one. So I'm going to leave it as field. So I'm going to leave it as the Northern now. The Northern. So I'm going to leave it as double as well then I'll OK. Now if I right click on this, the field, that's the top of the field, and then I go to calculate geometry. So I'm quite calculating for X. That's our Easting. Note that you cannot calculate a coordinate area or most of these things if you are not in a projected coordinate system. All right, so I'm going to leave my unit as meters. So I'm going to OK. So it's going to generate a new easting of those actual position where I shifted it to. So I'll do the same thing for uh, nodding. So I'm going to change here now to Y. So I'm going to calculate it. Now I want to try something. I don't know whether it's going to work. So I'm going to uh, create a new field. So this field I'm going to name it as height and see if it's going to generate the same height as we have. If I had not removed the previous coordinate, you will see that it's the same. So I'm still going to leave it as double. Then I'll right click and I will calculate geometry. Then this time I'm going to go to Z. 
let's see if it's going to generate it did whoa six eight nine six eight nine point nine seven so i'm going to quick quickly remove this so since i already have my eastern northern and z so i uh, i think my work here is done so no that's not what i want to do so i'm going to just close down the attribute so it has calculated the coordinate now the final first the other thing i'm going to do here is that i'm going to go to my search and i'm going to search for excel because i want to excel this back export this back to excel so here i have excel work under conversion we have table to excel we have excel to table you can also convert an excel file to table from here as well so i'm going to now bring in the spot height as my table And then I'm going to select the location where the Excel file will be. So in this case is my tutorial. So I'm going to put it under here and I'm going to name it um, Spot Height. So I'm going to save and i'm going to ok so it's going to convert this into an excel file so that's a way that if i import it again it's going to still remain like this okay so now that now that that is exported let's bring in our image and we will see that everything is on where approximately where we said it should be so now we can move to extracting um, this building which will be used at the end of the day so I'm going to leave this as a part one and then I'm going to come back with a new one tomorrow which is 2nd of October alright so I'm going to come up with the part 2 which will continue from where we stop today so I don't want the video to be too long it has just exported into an excel file so if I go into that folder now and I checked you will see that we have a spot height as So you can see it here so if i open the excel file now you see everything i brought in from that place so you see that we have our description which we will have to move it then i will remove this uh, object id because it will still be there when i take it in again so i'm going to remove this object id I'll remove this object ID delete and then I'm going to move this cut it and I'm going to put it paste it here then I'm going to move everything So I'm going to control, I'm going to cut it and bring it here, paste. So this, 
I've arranged it and I'm just going to save it back as a CSV file. It's currently not on CSV, so let me save it as a CSV file. So it will be here. And then I will change it to this. And then I will save. So the spot height now becomes my new value, no longer the one I originally started with. So basically, we will stop this here as my battery is also low so that the video won't be too long. And I will be back. So this is surveying end method. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. Let this video go viral. And then that will encourage us to continue the good work. Thank you. And I love you. Bye-bye.